Hello everyone, welcome to White Canvas Arts. Today we will be working on this boat picture. This is a simple, easy painting that I think everyone will enjoy. The colors we have are really beautiful and it's a very simple painting so anyone can do it. For this picture, I'm going to talk to you about all the things we need. I have a few colors here that came with my kit and two brushes. You'll need a pencil and an eraser. I have my palette sheet. My palette sheet, my canvas, my brushes, my paints, and my reference picture all come with the kit from White Canvas Arts. I will leave the link in the description below. Please take a look. Um, it comes as a set and you get everything you need to make this painting. So I've got all of those and then I also have a hair dryer so I can quick dry my painting and get this going faster. Apart from these, you will need a cup of water. I've got two. I usually work with two cups of water. So I've got those and then I have paper towels um, right next to it so I can wipe my brush immediately after I wash it. So my water, my paper towels, my palette sheet and my canvas. So this is the order in which I work with. It's a very comfortable way to work with all your things. If you're not buying the kit, the cup, the four colors you will need is going to be yellow. Uh, this could be a cadmium free yellow or a bright yellow. It could be Ellie yellow. This is a medium magenta, thalo blue, ivory black and titanium white. So these are the five colors you need. I've got two pots of titanium white because there's a lot of white in this painting, but otherwise your kit should come with all of the colors you already need pre-packaged so let's have fun painting when we start a painting like this we want to figure out what to draw or paint first typically the instinct is to draw our boat and then paint around it but if you see there's a sky here in the background that is a continuous um, that is continuous behind the boat to get that continuity you will need to not have the boat pretty much so we will first paint the sky like the boat doesn't exist and then we will paint the boat on top we use this technique the layering technique in acrylics so that we can get the continuity we need in the background so to do that we will need a couple of colors this peach we need this pink and then we need this purple, none of which we can see in the palette. Well, except for the pink maybe, but obviously lightening the yellow is not going to give you the peach and we don't have purple at all. So we're going to be mixing them. To mix them up, here's a little trick. We know that yellow and red make purple. We also know yellow and red make orange. And red and white actually makes pink. So here is a pink that has red in it, but it is a lightened version of the red. So this is a trick color. It'll work like red in the sense that pink and yellow will give you orange and pink and blue will give you purple. So we're going to be mixing those today. And lightening up the orange will give us the peach obviously and lightening up the purple will give us this lilac purple we have here so that's how we're going to do it and before we start off we will need to mix all our colors keep it ready and then start this background is completely blended all of our colors have to be blended which means all our paints need to be wet to blend them if you're going to be mixing after you paint one color, you don't have time to blend it. So we need all the three colors ready before we even put our paintbrush to the canvas. So the first thing we will be doing is mixing our colors. Let's get started. The palette sheet is a plastic sheet. So to see what you are working on, you may want to add a white piece of paper underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to keep it right on top of my canvas so you guys can see it. You can move the canvas out of the way and work on that. We'll move the canvas out of the way and work in this area here. Okay, so this is my palette sheet and I'm going to mix my colors here. The most we will need is our pink. So the pink is the most color we will be using. We will need some blue 
and some yellow. We will also need a lot of white. So I'm going to open up these four pots. Open only the pots you need. Leave the rest closed. Wash your brush. Wipe it before you get started. Then I'm going to just dig in and take three dollops of pink. So one will be to mix the orange, but that will later become peach. The next is just going to be pink. And then the third one is to become purple. Okay, so three dollops of pink. One. Two, two dollops of pink and then the third dollop of pink here okay I'm gonna swirl the brush onto the palette to take away all the paint wash this completely thoroughly and then wipe it off the next thing we will need is pink oh sorry the next thing we will need is yellow the yellow is half as much as the pink. We will go tad, we will go equal quantities yellow with the pink. For the purple though, on the other hand, we need less blue and more pink. So you don't want to dig in for the blue. Just take a little bit and put it there. You just, you don't need much. So that's all I'm going to take. That's, that's the blue I have. Now we'll go for the white. Wash the brush. Wipe it before you dig into any of those colors. We're going to take white. We're going to put it here in a corner. And we're going to take lots of white. Because we're going to need a lot of white. So I've got two giant dollops of white. Okay, so that's all the colors. Now let's close our paint pots and then let's mix them up and to mix them up with this one I'm just going to leave the white I'm not going to wash it I'm going to go in and um, finish my orange first so just there we go that's our orange and obviously we mix this with white to get our peach color Try and get as much of the paint off your brush by swirling it around and then wash this. Wipe it clean. shade remember more pink less blue that's the shade all right now that we've got all of these colors we have to mix them up with white okay so let's take a little bit of white close to each of these colors and uh, this mixing we can do when we are painting so I'm not going to be wasting too much time mixing everything and keeping it on the palette. Just grabbing a little white close to each of those colors so it's ready for me to start mixing. So these, this is the first step. Let's get all our colors ready. Now the second step is to start wetting our canvas. So I'm going to put the canvas here back in its spot. My paint palette goes to the side right-handed so it's in my right side and my picture reference is right here so you guys should be able to see everything let me move this a little far there this in the center and there we go that's a nice setup now before we get started this canvas is a very dry canvas and these are all thick paints when you're using thick paints and we want to blend a lot of them together we want a slightly wet canvas so i've got some white left over here on purpose i'm going to add a drop or two of water to it just a little bit not too much okay and then we're going to mix up some of that white you're going to get a nice liquidy consistency so it's instead of paste like it's going to be liquid like and then we're going to do a first coat of white for our canvas if you run out of that white you can add a little bit more 
and you just have to fill up to the part where you want to do the sky so if you're doing a halfway sky then you want this halfway if you're doing a longer sky then you want to do this longer I'm gonna do just a little above halfway or actually I think I'm going just a little below halfway I'm going a little below halfway so right there is where I'm stopping so you can see it's a little this is halfway point I'm going a little lower so that's kind of where I'm stopping and we're doing this so that when we get in there with all our colors our canvas is slightly wet and it will start blending okay so that's our wet canvas now don't wait for this to dry remember we want this wet it's a wet on wet technique so we're going to leave this dry and let's start with our peach it's peaches here and here so a little bit of orange don't go in and dig in and grab all of the orange we just want a little bit mix it with the white right there close to it if you want more you can grab more but just mix the corner and then you're ready to move on and there we go you paint your orange just grab a little bit more there's some white already on your canvas that's the reason why it's lighter than you would expect or lighter than what you're mixing here which is perfect which is the way we want it so dig that color in and maybe grab a little bit more and then add it here at the top so sweeping motion back and forth so you take your big brush and then you go back and forth back and forth that's how you want to paint so there's our peach color ready now let's do the pink and not washing my brush I'm just going in grabbing the pink mixing it with the white there's still peach in my paint palette that's completely fine go in and mix it with the color I have here so just time I'm going longer smooth it out go from side to side you want one full sweeping stroke if you start your paint halfway in can you see how you have a mark here so don't start your brush halfway in you want to start at the end and go all the way down all right that's that's what's going to give you a nice clean coverage of the paint otherwise it's going to look really bad with a lot of strokes in between okay so there we go we might go over the peach one more time but we have to let it dry a little so we're going to leave that and then let's do the purple now again if you see i'm not washing my brush yeah i am just going to dig in with the purple my purple slightly darker so i'm going to do less white and more purple right here it's mixing with the pink which is fine which is totally fine sky I am going to wash my brush this time I don't want purple mixing with my orange or peach I should say and then I'm gonna mix up a little bit more peach and then retouch this part so this is like a second coat which is make sure you have a ton of white in this coat because we already have peach and if you go in there with a darker peach you're going to unnecessarily darken the color we want to keep this light and airy and beautiful so it's it's deliberately kept this light so make sure you have white nice coat of white before you go in there okay that's my I've just enhanced it a little bit So we're just trying to blend those colors in. Alright, nicely 
done we're going to let this dry if we need another coat after it dies we can come back and do it we have enough colors to do it now let's work on the water we have to let the top dry now to work on the water let me talk to you about the color we have in the water the water is blue we know that but it's a duller desaturated blue it's not exactly bright brilliant blue so don't dig into the blue and directly go paint in there we're going to mix it a little bit with white and a touch of black so that way we reduce the intensity of the blue we're doing that so the sky will pop the skies are pastel shades and they are very very light and um mellow looking so we don't want a very contrasty bright blue that will completely switch off the color in the top we need that color to pop so which means the blue has to take a back seat for the blue to take a back seat we need to make we need to desaturate it so we're going to take blue and add a touch of black and white to it so i'm going to dig in and take a nice dollop of blue Okay, and then wipe off this. Take a touch of black. Maybe that much. That's more than enough, but I'm still going to keep it to the side and only use as much as I need. I'm not going to use all of it. And then comes the white. Wash your brush completely. Wipe it dry. And then come in here and then you can probably empty this pot of white. We're going to need it. Now let's mix the blue. So we're going to grab white close to the blue and then all of this black. So the black was not much. Remember it was just that much black. So I'm going to still take them and mix it up. So what that does is it will can you see how it desaturates the blue? So this is the pure blue from the pot, but the blue that we are mixing is light, is duller by comparison. So that's kind of what we want. Just a touch of black is all you need to do that. So if you see, it's going to be a nice dull shade of blue. Just a touch dull, not too much. So I'm going to mix up all of the blue. There we go. So the blue is mixed up and it's nice and dull. So let's paint it. Again, sweeping motions. You want to go one direction, then flip over and then the other direction. So I just go fast when I do that. You can do it slowly. Make sure you keep this edge nice and clean and neat. So we can show the horizon line. The water touching the sky becomes your horizon line. Keep it neat and as straight as possible. If you cannot get it straight, don't worry about it. It's okay. like I ran out of blue let's mix this again I mixed it a tad duller than I originally did so I need a little bit more blue the if the blue is a little off shade when you mix it again that's fine what we do is we're going to give this blue in a couple of other spots to make it look like the water changed colors midway so all this is allowed so you take the artistic liberty to do that so i'm just covering all of that white spots on the canvas and just a few more spots add the blue in and then just blend it out so that kind of shows like the waters this just these two blues mixed and blended together there we go. So I'm going to take this and maybe touch a couple of these spots here in the top. So 
we need to let this dry before we can move on to the next step. So, oh, we I forgot something. Let's do the black lines on the water to show that the water is moving. This is the simplest way in which we can show the water has waves. And instead of drawing the waves and instead of doing the wavy pattern, we're just sticking to the black line. So I'm going to use my small brush. So take a thin brush. This should also be with your pack. We're going to dip it in the black and then put it on the palette. Always transfer your colors onto the palette before you use it on the canvas. Take, touch the tip of the brush to water, only the tip. And then you come back here so the brush moves a little faster and you're gonna just make lines, just thin lines, as thin as you can, make them longer, shorter, Keep touching the water. You just want to touch the tip in water. Otherwise, the brush is going to drag and it won't look nice. Only the tip. Be very careful. You just graze, like you just touch very gently. Only the tip touches the canvas. So make as many lines as you want. So tiny lines, big lines, it doesn't matter. All of our lines are done so we can take the brush we're gonna touch it in the blue we're gonna make this like a dry brush so if you see I've not loaded the brush it's just stained with the blue we're just going to go in and grace out those lines so what happens is we slightly blend them on the top and into the water so there we go a little mellow down version of the waves all right I'm going to let this dry and I will meet you guys back once it's dry. Just retouching the purple here so that we don't have these white streaks. I don't like them so I'm just retouching that and the pink we retouched the orange when we started but the these guys also seem to need to be retouched so I am just retouching those so just lightly ever so lightly we're just retouching them retouching is done I'm gonna leave it at this this purple does look a little dark but it's okay I'm going to not stress it out I'm just gonna leave it as is okay now my sky and my water is dry to the touch make sure it's completely dry before you start drying your boat to draw the boat grab on to any straight line I'm just going to use my brush so I'm gonna keep it try to draw off center don't put your brush right smack in the middle and then draw it out you want the boat to be slightly off center and this is called the golden rule where we have two-thirds of the canvas on one side and one-third on the other and whatever subject we want to focus on will sit in this one-third so that's the reason why we picked this spot so take your pencil and then just just trace that line of the brush so I've got that let me use a white pastel pastel piece so you can see what I'm drawing 
so I've drawn a straight line off center so don't put it right smack in the center we want it off center so our eye is drawn to the subject then from here on out I've got a longer line so just erase it a tad bit and then let's draw the windows or the top part of the boat and then curve this end so don't draw a straight line you want to slightly curve that line make it pointy there let's make it longer on this section curve it again see I'm drawing in curves don't draw straight lines the curves make it look more natural and streamlined so curve it and then again once more curve this out and then at this point where you're ready to join go steep and then join it so we want an aerodynamic sh um, sailboat so let's make sure that it sails fine there we go that's done now let's do the sail sails quite easy just a triangle again off center don't draw a straight line the next line is going to overlap this so we're going to draw a curve overlap that and then come back and touch your tip and connect it that's all so the overlapped portion I'm going to erase because we won't see it that'll be the sail okay and then let's clean this up so I won't be able to erase all of these um, pastel marks right now so I'll paint it then I can erase off any extras any excess marks I have now here's my um, paint we will start with the base coat which is white for the boat and then we will go from there I'm going to be using my small brush on the smaller parts on the inside of the boat I can use my thicker brush okay I'm opening up my white paint pot and this is over so that's why we have two let's open this one and start painting if you're comfortable enough using it right out of the paint pot you're welcome to dip in and go but don't drop paint onto your the rest of your canvas that's going to look awkward so let's make sure we are very close and draw and paint keep it as smooth as possible don't leave blobs of paint you want to make sure you're spreading that paint it's going to be thin for the first coat you might need to go in there with another coat of the white which is completely fine I will probably do two three coats of the white before I'm ready to call this done in a circle I started with this sail I went on to this one and then the boat so once I've done the boat I go back to this sail and then I circle back so this white is a little liquidier so if you have this white try this one it's going to be a little um, pasty and because it's pasty it might go on thicker and might dry faster so use the other white as well it might have better coverage there we go it has it does have a better coverage and that's my base coat of the boat all done got a good coverage 
and I'm ready for the black. So take the black onto your palette and make sure to add a touch of water, not too much, just a touch. So it's going to move around. You're going to dip only the tip of the brush in the water, touch it and then come back. So don't dip the whole brush and that should give you a good liquidier black to do a straight line. So to do a straight line, make sure your brush is at 90 degrees. You want to keep it straight and move your whole hand. Also make sure the brush is only touching the canvas and don't bend it in such a way that you touch the canvas like this. The whole brush doesn't touch the canvas. Only the tip should touch the canvas. So that's how you get a perfect straight line. And move your hand, not your wrist. Touch a tiny bit of water if your brush is not moving smoothly. The paints are just thick enough, they won't move. I'm going to turn this over and then paint my line. I paint better on an angle. So you can see how I move my entire hand and not just my wrist when I do the black. Okay, there's a perfectly thin line. Maybe we can thicken it out a little bit. We need the entire sail to hold on to this thick stick here. So we want a tiny bit. go that's a perfectly good line now let's let the white dry before we add in the blending parts of the sail there's some windows we can add here and one line here as a design on the boat so let's go ahead and add those those are also in black so we can go ahead and put them in in the meantime, I touch this part, so let's patch this up. Okay. Ready? So more black. Touch water. Mix up the black so it's slightly more so that it's going to be a little bit more liquidier than the paste that you go with. This way it's easier to move your brush to make thin thin lines. So make as thin lines as possible. There we go, my thin line in the middle of the boat. Let's let the white completely dry before we go on to the next step, which is blending in the pink on the side of this boat. We're going to bend a little peach on the side and then we have shadow of this sail falling on this sail. So that's the blue black we have here. So we will be doing that piece of blending as well. So. Let's wait for this to dry before we move on to the next step. This is also a good time to add more black stripes onto your water and also to add the reflection. So let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting for our boat to dry. Just adding more black lines. So you can have as much or as little as you like. So I wanted more, so I'm going ahead and adding them. If you can't get perfectly straight lines, that's okay. Just try. I keep my brush at 90 degrees and all I'm doing is moving my whole hand. Short strokes and 
long strokes that's the key mix them up don't keep them consistent we've done the black part you can take your dry brush remember this is dry I don't have any paint on it you can just simply touch and grace the top of that so all it will do is blend out that black a little bit with the blue there we go nicely done now let's add the reflection for the reflection we're going to do the same thing with the white the white is liquidier on the second one for a reason. I didn't want to give you a lot of pasty white. This is a good white for blending and this is a good white for mixing as well. So if you want a base coat and you want to cover it, you want to go with the pasty white. This is titanium white and this is just regular white. Okay, so let's mix this up and then paint our reflection. For the reflection, I'm not designed it in such a way that you have too much they're only seeing the reflection of the sails so they're not seeing the reflection of the boat actually only the sails so only follow the sails so we have long lines that become smaller as we go down that's the sail at the that's the sail okay There we go now this side so just a few more connecting here and that's all we need that's all we're going to do we can add a tiny bit of shadow for the boat it looks like the boat is sitting on the water it is sitting on the water but we want to sh show a tiny bit of shadow so let's make gray slightly darker gray not as black but still darker and then just touch only the bottom and a little bit in the front here to show the shadow and a tiny bit in the back there so that's kind of all we need you can add it as part of the reflection too so it's just gray we're gonna pick up black and touch that line touch it lightly just here and there a few in the middle and then that's it so don't overdo it it's important to just get a little bit of the gray if you don't get the gray and if it's too much or it's a little too hard skip it it's okay it doesn't have to be there so you can skip it there we go all right so the water is dark enough that we can get away with not adding that shadow now let's work on our blending here so for the blending in this part we're going to let's first blend the white and the pink on the boat so we're going to start with a base coat of white think of this as a sandwich we're going to start with the base coat of white we will add the pink then we'll add white again on top and blend it out so let's do the sandwich we're going to start with a base coat of white this is my third coat of white so that works in our favor now for a touch of pink go back on top with the white if you want but if you like the blend the way it is you can leave it like that so I'm gonna take the pink again The boat is completely white but it's picking up the colors from the sky. That's the reason why we have this slight blend here to show that the colors from the sky are reflecting on the surface of the boat. So you can keep the, if you don't want a pink 
blend on the boat go ahead and you can do the purple the purple is completely fine so I can even add a tiny bit of purple here and blend it out so it doesn't really matter we can choose any color off of the sky to go on the boat for a blend so there we go I actually blended the two colors in it's pink and purple which is which works in our favor and that's what happens you will see more than one color being reflected now let's do the sail the blending on the sail again start with the base coat I'm only doing one corner because remember the second half has a shadow so we're only going to do one corner and I'm going to pick up the tiny bit of the orange and add it on top of my white just add it anywhere you want we're going to take white again and blend this out remember our base coat white is already there so it's going to help us when we try to blend this out so it's like a sandwich remember so base coat of white your color that you want to blend then go back with the white and blend it out so the three layers of paint that are all wet will blend together and we get a perfect blend every single time. And as I go to the top, it's going to be just clear white. So it slowly recedes into the white. So there we go, dark, medium tone, and then a uh, white. That's our sail. Now let's add a little bit of the shadow here. So this shadow is from this sail. So we need black. Oh, my black is dry. So let's pick up black from the. This time you can go ahead and add a little bit of blue too to this because our black, the reflection of the, the shadow doesn't have to only be black and gray it can be a tiny bit blue as well so a tiny touch of blue with a tiny touch of the black mixed with white so let's start with the base coat a nice clean base coat pick up that black it's a blue black so it'll be a blue gray and then pick up our white again There's our shadow from this sail. Now let's do this one again. So this sail, if you see, is again a slight peachy color, but it's more white than peach. So let's go ahead and add our white, and then we'll touch a little peach and mix it up. I'm going to blend this portion here. All right, that's done. Now let's work on this Part of the white I want to go faster so I'm using my big brush I'm going to use my big brush for all the parts except the sides so it's just a tiny bit faster there we go see a couple of strokes and you're done the nice thing about using a nice large brush so tilt your brush around so you get the side of the brush to work for you when you're doing the corners and then you can wash this off and use the small brush to do the corners. Remember it's a sail, it's made out of cloth and um, so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It's not made out of thick material like wood or steel. It is made out of cloth. Okay, now it's time for the peach. We've given the base coat of white. Let's add the peach in and then blend this out. So we're going to add the peach in this direction, a couple of strokes on this side, a couple of strokes down here. And then we blend it with the white. So I'm going to take a nice big dollop of white, put it in the middle and then blend it with the peach. I really want a very, very light peach for this sale i do not want a darker peach so i'm going to blend all of the peach as much as i can into the entire sale so i can lighten it really well all right so there's 
our sailboat all done I just need to add the white on top of this section and a little bit here as a third base coat and then we're all totally done and our boat painting is completely finished <laughs>